after the most recent three-for-one stock split for Tesla. Investors and stock analysts have varying expectations. While some think that the company's stock may be overvalued, others are fairly confident in the future performance of Tesla's stock. In the recent months, Tesla has produced and delivered EVs across its markets, recording both important successes and losses. However, an effective method for boosting sales and effectively reducing expenses and debts must be in place for a business to succeed. Given Tesla's track record, there are several factors, including growing inflation and the automaker's inability to meet project deadlines, that suggest the stock price may decline. However, there is also a good probability that the company's stock will perform well in the ensuing weeks, but given the challenging market conditions, can we really anticipate that the stock would increase? You're going to learn soon. But first, if you enjoy this kind of film, don't forget to click the like button. To stay informed about all that is happening with Tesla being a prominent player of the EV industry, subscribe and enable notifications. These past several months, Tesla has been featured in the press frequently, in the United States and many other markets across the world. It is predicted that EV sales have increased by roughly 105% year over year. Following the three-for-one stock split, various stock analyses have increased the price of their goals on the stock. In light of the anticipated production ramp-up in Tesla's Shanghai factory, Wetbush analyst Don Ives lowered his price targets for Tesla stock from $1,000 to $360 post-stock split value. Gary Black, the creator of Future Fund, set a $500 price objective for the stock as well. Aldi's price objective, though, is doable for Tesla. Watch to find out more. Following the suspension of considerable production at its Shanghai factory in May, the stock had previously fallen precipitously. This was brought on by issues obtaining parts for its electric vehicles, which created a number of issues at the production. Despite Tesla's plans to increase production to pre-lockdown levels by the middle of May, the facilities are now only able to produce 200 cars per week. Musk addressed the matter and said that while he is certain Tesla can build a record number of electric vehicles in the remaining months of the year, the key to that may lay outside of his control, and there is no assurance that authorities won't impose additional limits. Similarly, the announcement that Musk had sold Tesla stock in August of this year caused the stock price to fall even lower. During his recent Twitter trial, the Tesla CEO sold 7.92 million shares of the business, valued at almost $6.88 billion. Musk later revealed that he had stopped selling Tesla stock, although one can never be too sure about the future. Investors anticipated that the stock would increase after occasions like Tesla's battery day, even while the price of the shares was falling. The 2020 event was organized by the manufacturer to showcase the most recent battery advancements. Tesla disclosed plans to create a battery that could power an electric vehicle for its entire operational lifetime. The 4680 cells are anticipated to lower Tesla's production costs and increase productivity. According to experts, Tesla may cut the price of its current Model I battery in half by using larger cells and a dry coat electrode technique. When it comes to the use of lithium-ion batteries in electric automobiles, the automaker is already at the forefront of the industry, and with this expanded selection of batteries, Tesla may have the capacity to produce highly regarded EVs far superior to anyone else in the market. The manufacturer hopes to make their sales $100 per kilowatt hour, which would eventually put the price of electric cars on level with those powered by internal combustion engines. The stock price didn't much rise after this incident, though. Similar events occurred when American car rental giant Hertz revealed its big acquisition of 100,000 Tesla Model 3 vehicles. Bulls who support Tesla also anticipated a rise in the value of the company's stock. And it did, but only briefly. The rental company added Tesla Model Ys to its expanding fleet of electric vehicles early this year and stated that it planned to accept delivery of the 100,000th Model 3 by the end of 2022. Additionally, Hertz struck a contract to provide 50,000 Tesla electric cars to Uber drivers. The company has been expanding its fleet of Tesla cars, which might help the company gain greater notoriety and attract more customers. Even though Tesla's stock price only slightly increased following this acquisition, there are a number of additional causes and initiatives that could result in a rise in the stock price in the months to come. Musk made that known. 
Release of fresh improvements to Tesla's FSD function is one of the company's primary goals for the remainder of the year, and this is probably going to happen. Tesla published FSD Beta 10.69 earlier this year, which includes a number of noteworthy upgrades from the prior version. Soon later, the automaker issued a new version 10.69.1 with additional capabilities. That's not all, though. Tesla intends to release FSD Beta 10.69.2 in September, Musk stated on Twitter. He indicated that polishing is still required for this subsequent and possibly final edition. Additionally, even though there will be a much lesser number of code changes, they will have a big impact on how driving will feel, and there will be advancements made to the Advanced Driver Assistance software. Additionally, Tesla intends to distribute the newest FSD beta version to all 100,000 of its testers. According to Musk, the cost of Tesla's FSD beta software in North America has increased by $3,000 to $15,000 from the prior price. What are your thoughts on this? Comment below and let us know. Tesla has been working to boost its 4680 battery output since Battery Day in 2020. This is an effort to develop the next generation of automobiles and meet the 2030 objective of 20 million EVs. Tesla has undoubtedly found this to be fairly difficult. According to experts, Tesla is having trouble scaling its dry code electrode process and is only halfway to realizing its objective of successfully releasing its 4680 cells. The electric vehicle manufacturer is still working towards using larger cells in its vehicles, and according to analysts, Tesla will likely be able to use the dry code electrode method for 4680 cells next year. In related news, it appears that the automaker is finally on the path to dropping its junk bond rating and achieving blue chip status. Despite accruing over $18 billion in cash and generating high delivery profits for more than two years running, Rating agencies like S&P Global Ratings and Moody's Investor Service still classify Tesla as a junk bond. That, though, appears to be fading into obscurity. According to Joel Levington of Bloomberg Intelligence Credit Analysis, Tesla is still making a ton of money and will eventually force these point rating companies to take action. He continued by saying he wouldn't be shocked if Tesla's investment grade was raised before the year's end. It goes without saying that this is overdue for the sixth most valuable company in the world. And while it might not seem like much to the average Tesla investor in terms of the difference, it could mean a lot to large funds that frequently have a policy not to invest in companies with anything lower than an investment grade rating with a higher rating. These bigger finances will be available to Tesla, which might be quite beneficial for the automaker. Additionally, Tesla will hold its second day later this year and is anticipated to unveil a number of intriguing tweaks and enhancements. Last year's Tesla A Day revealed that the business launched its Dojo Supercomputer, which it marketed as the world's fastest AI training device. Not only that, but the business also showed its completely bipedal human robot, Optimus, which had numerous Tesla investors really enthusiastic about what to expect from this new technology. Tesla hopes to finally provide an update on the Optimus project at its second day later in September, despite the fact that it was first announced last year. Originally, this event was supposed to take place on August 19th, which was the exact same day as the first of last year. However, Musk then declared that the deadline had been moved to September 30th, citing Tesla's intention to have a functioning Optimus robot prototype by the end of September as the rationale for the delay. The unveiling of Tesla's humanoid robot will significantly boost the company's income. Additionally, before the company's Q2 earnings were disclosed, the anticipated news on Tesla's Q3 deliveries and sales is probably going to be another catalyst for its stock price. Revenue of $16.521 billion and earnings per share of $1.81 were forecast by Wall Street for the quarter. Due to the Shanghai Gigafactory's complete shutdown, there were only roughly 250,000 deliveries as opposed to the well over 300,000 that were anticipated. Fortunately, despite the challenging quarter, Tesla's financial report for the quarter exceeded forecasts on both profitability and revenue. With revenues of $16,934 billion and earnings per share of $2.27, the company exceeded Wall Street's expectations by nearly $400 million. Considering that Tesla survived the most challenging quarter, Tesla supporters are fairly upbeat about what will occur in the third quarter of this year. 
What do you think though? Comment below and let us know. Click on one of these two videos on your screen while you are still here. Hello there.